Hey, it's Joel. Oh man, my workbench is uh, dusty, messy. I completed a project and now there's bits and pieces and dog hair and shavings and whatever. So let's brush it off. Okay. This is my desk garbage. It's a blue bin. I probably picked it up years ago and it's full of garbage and it's boring. I mean, just like with anything in the 3D printing community, I could cover it in stickers, but I don't wanna do that. Why don't we use a really cool technique to create a sturdy garbage disposal can thing? Why not? Let's give it a try right here on 3D Printing Nerd. There's this model that Devin from Make Anything created and he put it up on My Mini Factory. It's a spiral vase mode sort of model, but it's faceted a bit. It's got some texture to it and I printed it out. I shrank it down a bit because I wanted it to be narrow. It was shrank to 70% on X and on Y, and then on Z, it was left at 100%. That was too big for this test. So then I halved those, so I brought it to 35 on the X, 35% on the Y, and 50% on the Z. And this is what you get. You get this model. Oh, you're in the way. So this was printed in Strong Hero 3D Splendid Filament. It's the stuff that's kinda, it's the stuff that's kinda rainbowy. It's like unicorn farts in the form of filament and it's wonderful. It prints extremely well. This is really cool. This was done on the CME CNC Artemis and in Cura I checked the box for spiralize, which is like vase mode. You can see that it's, it's a little bit squishy. If I was just to do something that was a straight wall up this way, then it would be kind of squishy because the nozzle on the Artemis is 0.5 millimeters and well, it, it's thin, it's thin, it's a thin wall. So you get some, you get some squish to it. Oh, look at that squish. This way you don't get as much squish and that's because the sides of the model, these sides actually have the, the cutouts, the design, the pattern. It's cool. Will this work as trash though? Let's find out. Okay, you can tell that it's a good model and it can hold some trash, but it really can't hold that much trash. The problem is too, if I were to scale this up a bit bigger, then that 0.5 millimeter wall would be too thin and I think it would be too flexible and it would be prone to breaking, especially if I printed in PLA because PLA, even this PLA is brittle. So here's a cool trick. In Cura, we can actually specify a wider extrusion, even though the nozzle is only 0.5 millimeters. That means we get more plastic around the outside and we get ourselves a stronger model. Let's give it a try. When over extruding in Cura, there's gonna be, I think, three things that you need to pay attention to. One is the width, the width that you want the extrusion to actually be when it comes out of the nozzle. The second thing is the temperature at which you're extruding. The third thing is your speed. Gotta watch out for that. So here we are, we're in Cura, and this is a vase mode print. If I scroll down to the very, very bottom, I can see spiralize outer contour, and I hit prepare. It slices it a bit, and once sliced, I can go into layer view. And there it is. So if I do this, it just kinda, that's great. So I'm gonna go back to solid view and we're gonna change a few things. First, line width. If this isn't actually shown, you can go up here to this little configure thing and make sure line width is checked and then close it and then it appears. The Artemis has a 0.5 millimeter nozzle, but we're gonna change the width of the extrusion to 1.0. Once we do that, it doesn't complain. Everything's okay. Next is the printing temperature. When over extruding, you're gonna be shoving more material through the heater block and out through the nozzle. That means that you're going to have to print a little bit hotter. So here we've got our normal printing temperature for PLA around 210. So what I'm gonna do is change it to 230. 230 is going to give me enough heat to get the filament right out of the nozzle. Well, it's not 2000, oh my goodness. There we go. Higher temperatures mean it's going to be able to melt the filament a little bit faster. And that's good because we're gonna be shoving more filament out through the nozzle. Last thing, speed. So for speed, you need to slow it down and it all depends on how well your printer can transfer the heat to the filament. If you're running like an E3D volcano or whatever, it's usually not an issue. The CME CNC Artemis doesn't have a volcano on it. So we just have to make some considerations. So what I do 
is I half it and then I half it again. So 60 is the normal one. I'm gonna go to 15. 15 millimeters per second. Yes, it's super duper slow, but you're throwing a bunch of filament out of that nozzle. You can always adjust once it's started printing and it doesn't hurt you to, uh, to try a slower speed and then bump it up using the interface for your printer. Well, we got our settings dial in. We can slice it up. Let's send it to the printer. Once it's done printing, it looks a whole lot like this. This is, this is really cool. Here's the great part though. It's even the, the thin wall, this part right here, because it's one millimeter in width, the, the extrusion, it, it's actually got some sturdiness to it. Whereas if I would have followed normal conventions, then it would not have been as sturdy. So by over extruding in spiralize or vase mode, we've created a model that is stronger and more sturdy and should hold up to more garbage. Boy, I cleaned up a mess just to make a mess again. There we go. Look at that. That is huge. That is awesome. And there, there is still a lot of room to go. This would make a fine desk garbage. What if you didn't want to use PLA? What if you wanted a garbage that could withstand some hits, but you didn't want to use rigid material? Well, the Artemis can print semi-flexible material. Let's give it a go. Flexibles are an interesting thing. We can't really, I mean, I guess we could over extrude like in the, the PLA one, but we're not gonna do that. Flexible has, uh, a, is robust in that it can, it can take a hit. So we can do a single extrusion and its shape is gonna lend itself to being able to hold the, the flexible filament in place. And in Cura, for the Artemis, this has a base mode 0.5. I'm gonna discard my settings. So. What it's done is it's it has a preset for semi-flex in vase mode and it, does, it has no top layers, no bottom layers. What I'm gonna do is change bottom layers to three and then my default printing temperature. I know the flexible material that I'm using is good at about 240 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna change all of these to 240 degrees. 240. And print speed, uh, I'm gonna do 15 millimeters per second here. Yes, it's kind of slow and you can adjust, it all depends, because the Artemis has a really long Bowden tube, and so you're trying to push that flexible filament through to have it spit out the nozzle, you can have it bind in the tube. It's 1.75 millimeter filament, which means it has a, a greater chance of binding. It's like pushing a rope through a tube, and you can't go too fast, so don't push your rope too fast through the tube. Uh, so these are the settings that we're gonna use. Let's get it printed. Once you get this off the printer, it looks a whole heck of a lot like this. This is, this, is, this is flexible material, but it still stands up on its own. Part of the reason isn't like this. This had a wider extrusion, which means the walls are thicker. The walls aren't necessarily thicker here. This is purely because of the way Devin made the model. If this was a flexible material print and it just had some straight walls up, it would be a little bit flimsy. This isn't as flimsy, which means that something like this, works as a garbage as well. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I didn't expect to have so much fun printing things that were supposed to hold trash, but now, now I have a better desk garbage. This is way more in line with what I'm looking for. Plus, I did take it outside for a photo shoot. It was sunny outside and I had to take it outside and, and let the color shine. Plus, it makes a really cool hat. Ow. If anything, I really hope that you watch this video and it inspires you to experiment with your 3D printer. Extrude wider than you should. Print hotter than you should. Use filaments in ways that aren't necessarily expected. Be cool. Just make a bunch of stuff and experiment and have a bunch of fun. Big thanks to Devin for making this model. This is awesome. I'll put a link to it down in the description. Beyond all that, don't forget to hug each other more. I love you all. As always, high five.